Triangle Sum Theorem. What is a theorem? In mathematics, a theorem is a statement that has been proved or can be proved. The Triangle Sum Theorem is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So no matter what type of triangle we can have, equilateral, scaling, obtuse, acute, no matter what kind of triangle we have, if it's a three-sided polygon, we can add up. The interior angles will always add up to 180 degrees. That is called the triangle sum theorem. So, for example, if I have this triangle and I have two interior angles of 70 and 66, and I have an unknown angle at X, I know that the sum of these angles is 180 degrees. So, X the unknown angle plus 70 plus 66 has to add up to 180 degrees. So if I add 70 and 66, I get 136, subtract that from 180, and my missing angle has to be 44 degrees. And I could always go back, double check, put those three numbers in my calculator, add them up and make sure, or I can just write them to the side, add up those three numbers, should add up to 180 degrees. If not, I got a mistake somewhere. I gotta go find it. All right, so you guys try this one on your own. Pause the video here and you guys find the measure of the missing angle. All right, welcome back. So 68 plus 51 plus X has to add up to 180 degrees. Well, 68 and 51 add up to 119. So if I take that 119 away from 180, X has to be 61 degrees. So the angle that's missing, 61 degrees. Now, remember isosceles triangles? Those are the ones that have two sides and two angles that are equal. So if we have two sides that are equal, these two angles at their base are also equal. So that's handy when it comes to talking about isosceles triangles to know the definition. So find the measure of the missing angles of the isosceles triangle. Well, we have one angle is 40 degrees, and then we have X and X. Well, they're both the same amount, but that makes sense because this is marking indicating these two sides are the same. So these two angles are the same. So we're using the same variable to represent both of those angles. So we can go right to our equation on this. We know that these three angles together, X plus X plus 40, have to add up to 180 degrees. Combine like terms, I would get 2X plus 40 equals 180. Subtract 40 from each side, divide by 2, and X is 70. So if X is 70 degrees, each of those missing angles are 70 degrees. And I can double check this real quick in my head. 70 plus 70 is 140 plus 40 is 180. So the interior angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's say we're given an octagon. How many triangles can we make? All right, well, if I pick any angle here to start with, I could start drawing some lines. I could draw a line from here to there. I could draw a line here. So the triangle here, triangle here. How many other triangles can we draw in here? Well, I think I'll just keep going from the same spot. I can go to there, I can go to there, and there. So how many triangles do we have inside this octagon? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So we can make six triangles inside an octagon and each of those triangles we know has 180 degrees. So how many degrees would be in an octagon? Well, if an octagon, all those triangles are each 180, so all the angles would add up to six times all those triangles. So six times 180 would give me the total interior angles of an octagon, and we get 1,080 degrees. So every octagon has interior angles with a sum of 1,080 degrees. So that's kind of a useful way without memorizing a lot just to see how many triangles we can draw inside a polygon, knowing that the inside angles of every triangle always add up to 180 degrees, and then we could figure out different other polygons, what their angles add up to as well. 
All right, so you guys um, find the measure of the missing angle by writing an equation and solving for x. So go ahead, pause the video here, write an equation, solve for x, and then find the missing angles. All right, welcome back. So I know that these three angles together add up to 180. So I have this 2x plus 1 plus 5x plus 5, and I can't forget this other angle, plus 90. Together, these three angles add up to 180. That's where my equation comes from. Then I can start combining some like terms. 2x and 5x combine to be 7x. 1 plus 5 plus 90 is 96. So 7x plus 96 equals 180. Subtract 96 from each side. Divide by 7. And x is equal to 12. So if x equals 12... I can use that fact to solve for the size of those angles inside the triangle. So let's first look at angle A. So angle A is 2x plus 1. Angle A is 2x plus 1. And we found out that x was 12. So I can put 12 in for x. So I'd have 2 times 12 plus 1. Well, 2 times 12 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So angle A is 25 degrees. So we can replace that with 25 degrees. Then we can look at angle C. Well, angle C was 5x plus 5. Angle C is 5x plus 5. I can replace x with 12. 5 times 12 is 60 plus 5 is 65. So angle C is 65 degrees. And we could go back and double check 90 plus 65 plus 25 adds up to 180. All right, so I hope that helps you guys with the triangle sum theorem. Remember, inside angles of every triangle add up to 180 degrees. Good luck with that. O-U-T spells 